hey guys welcome back to the sullivan family um so if you have seen our facebook page or my instagram you will have seen that we've had quite an event for 24 hours um so last night monday night uh the girls were doing some uh, doing a workout and somehow somehow isabel was balancing on one leg and that leg gave out um her knee popped out of place so her she dislocated her knee um and was like in a heap on the floor i was literally just upstairs it must have been about half seven quarter to eight so i just finished doing all the jobs that i was doing and i just got upstairs to put my pajamas on to get ready to sit and watch tv um and i heard olivia and charlotte um really i could hear the panic in their voice they were shouting for for ben who was in the lounge um saying you've got to come quick you've got to come quick isabel's really hurt herself and for a split second i thought are they joking or are they being serious but then they said it again i could hear the panic in their voice and i thought no that's definitely serious so i ran downstairs and um i found isabel in the dining room kind of in a heap on the floor and her knee so her left knee uh wasn't where it was supposed to be you could see that it was visibly right out to the side um so her kneecap was kind of near the floor and her um her knee was not and so anyway i knew we'd have to there was no way we could move her we couldn't move her so i called an ambulance um and they came and were fantastic so they gave her gas in there straight away and managed to pop her knee back into place um in the house um so they said to her she was having gas in there and they were assessing her and then they said right i need you to take 10 puffs on the gas in there and i thought i know exactly what they're going to do so i had to i had to leave ben to it and and kind of because i knew that they were gonna they needed to manipulate a leg back into place so they could put it in a splint um so i knew exactly what they were going to do but they did they put it back in so they put it back into place they went back into place quite easily and she was on gas and air anyway, so she didn't feel it. So they put it in a splint and took her up to hospital. So we went in the ambulance to hospital. Um, and so they x-rayed her knee in, in the hospital. Uh, it came back, everything had gone back into place. Okay, so that was all right, but they had obviously needed to immobilize it. So they put it in a, a cricket splint in the meantime she had a bit of pain in her ankle before um and we the nurse and me just thought it was just a sprain but in the meantime while we've been sort of there x-ray and everything else it had swollen right up and i tried to put a sock on and she was like that really really hurts now isabel is one of these kids that she's got a pretty high pain threshold she doesn't you don't really know it's really difficult to tell when she's in pain because she doesn't really talk about it very much she doesn't really speak about being in pain and she doesn't really seem to feel pain all that much so she can really have hurt herself and she'd just be like oh yeah that hurts a bit so i knew when she said that that hurt that it really did hurt so anyway the nurse said right i'm going to send you back to x-ray um i need to get that ankle x-rayed because i don't want you leaving you know if if we haven't x-rayed it so luckily came back um she's broken her ankle so somehow from balancing on one leg, she's managed to dislocate her knee and land awkwardly on her ankle and break her ankle as well. So they put it in, by this time it's about half past 11 at night or 11 o'clock at night. So they put it in a temporary splint, uh, temporary cast, sorry. And every, I think every day, it's probably the same at most hospitals, They the x-rays get assessed the following morning. So you know the nurse said um you'll probably get a call from um orthopedics tomorrow when they've had a look at the x-rays so anyway off we went home then came picked us up went home um by this point it's like nearly midnight um managed to get the girls into bed <laughs> poor charlotte had to give up her bed because isabel is on the top bunk so um charlotte had to go on the top bump so that isabel could have charlotte's bed so that was kind of us faffing around with beds at 11 o'clock last night um 
so that's a temporary measure because obviously you know they don't really want to be moving their beds around but Isabel can't get to the top bunk at the moment so gone to bed got up she wasn't too bad last night she wasn't in too much pain this morning she was in quite a lot of pain um so we got her set up on the sofa um and then we got a call from orthopedics probably about half past nine this morning so it's tuesday so half past nine this morning they said they need to get a ct scan on her ankle um because they think it needs surgery fixation of the bones so they said they phoned me back with an appointment to get her in um for a ct scan so in the meantime obviously i've had to erin's gone off to school she was quite upset um because she just she's so sensitive erin bless her and she, you know she knew isabel was okay but anything different that happened she gets really stressed out by it and she's really upset so i had to explain to nursery what had happened um and then obviously i had to phone the high school and tell them that she wouldn't be logging in for school um i also had to like text my mom and and you know make sure that everybody knew who needed to know knew um make sure ben had gone to work this morning so obviously i needed to get him to come home um for lunchtime so that oh, so that i could take her we got a phone call back in the meantime as well saying that they needed her to come in for 12 o'clock for a ct scan so obviously ben had to come back so anyway off we went to the hospital half past 11 uh got there managed to hobble her way in bless her um had her ct scan um and then orthopedics came down and took her to the children's ward to wait for because i think the consultant was in surgery at the time so to wait for him to assess the x-rays meanwhile um another girl who'd done pretty much exactly the same injury not in the same way exactly the same injury probably about the same age as isabel she'd come in as well so we had to both of the girls had to go down to the children's ward um it's just bizarre so the orthopedic surgeon came around and said that she needs to have it's quite a rare kind of break um it's the front of the ankle and it's kind of gone through the top and the bottom bone the break and then through the growth plate as well so it could have have an effect if it's not operated on it could have an effect on her growth and if it is operated on it could have an effect on her growth so but it, the best option is to have it operated on so she's got to have two screws put in her ankle um but so apparently there's only one kit to do this operation because it's not a it's it's not a, a usual it's quite a rare break um but the other girl had done exactly the same thing and they said you know we hardly ever see this kind of break and then two of you walk in on the same day at the same time with the same break so i think she's getting an operation first isabel's getting hers later in the week um because this kit has to go back to inverness to be sterilized and then come back to dr grace um so we're looking at thursday we're going to get a phone call tomorrow so wednesday and we're looking at thursday or friday for surgery for her so yeah it's been quite an eventful kind of day i think we've had about four hours sleep so hence why i look quite so tired because we are really tired and um, my eyes actually are really hurting because i'm so tired meanwhile i've got a chronic abscess in my tooth that had a root canal done in so I've just had to go and get antibiotics for that as well. So yeah, we don't do things by halves. Our Sullivans do things, you know, if there's gonna something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. So anyway, she's she's okay. She's I'm just glad that we don't have to go through to Inverness or Aberdeen for an operation that we've been able to come home um and she can rest at home and then go back in for the operation. You know, this is times like this when I'm so grateful for our hospital, um, because You've got Raidmore, which is 40 minutes in one direction, and Aberdeen um, Royal Infirmary, which is an hour and a half in the other direction. And then you've got Dr. Gray's in like 15 minutes away. And, you know, they're amazing there. They're, they're always so lovely and so attentive. And, you know, we've been there quite quite a lot of times. We've always seen quickly and efficiently, and we're just so lucky to have them there. And, you know, it, it's it's 
so much easier as well you know having to go all the way through to Inverness to Aberdeen is, it's just a nightmare when it comes to like the whole family dynamics so I'm I'm pleased that we're, we're home and she can we can just take her back in for day surgery fingers crossed they don't quite know the extent of the damage until until they go in and do the surgery so it's kind of going to be a you know we'll see what her recovery time is going to be after she's had the surgery um they can't sort of tell how long she'll be non-weight bearing and stuff like that but her knee so her knee they couldn't put a splint and a plaster on so her knee is is kind of he, the, the consultant said today that it feels quite spongy and it feels quite loose but because she's non-weight bearing on her leg it should be you know it should be okay because she's not moving it so it, it's okay not being splinted because she couldn't have both on her legs because it wouldn't fit um so yeah, she did a pretty good job, really. So she's managed to dislocate her knee and break her ankle, all just from standing up, really. It's just been kind of one of those days. So yeah, I'll keep everybody informed as to what goes on. She's gonna go for her surgery, hopefully, as I said, Thursday or Friday. So we will keep you up to date um i'd like to say i hope you enjoyed this vlog but that's kind of not the right thing to say when it's about something like this is it but anyway just keeping you up to date with what's going on and all the good stuff you know you can still like subscribe all that sort of stuff even though it's on 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 poor isabel oh it's just honestly our kids don't ever seem to do something you know there's there's nothing they don't do things by halves like when olivia broke her arm she ended up in surgery with her arm it's they can't just do something little they have to do something spectacular but you know she's young she should uh, hopefully heal quite quickly fingers crossed so yeah thanks for watching guys stay tuned and i will keep you up to date with what goes on thank you bye